your plate? Plate. What's in your plate? GTA. What's, what's in your plate? Big plate. What's in your plate? Oh, 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 oh. What's in your plate? Plate. What's in your plate? GTA. What, what's in your plate? Big plate. What's in your plate? Oh, One thousand. What's in your plate? Plate. What's in your plate? GTA. What, what's in your plate? Big plate. What's in your plate? What's in your plate? Plate. What's in your plate? GTA. What, what's in your plate? Big plate. What's in your plate? One thousand. GTA. Kisa. What's good? Another day. Another video. GTF, what's good, man? What's going on? It's a new day, uh, all right? What's good, though? What's good, though, man? GTF, man, I appreciate all y'all, man. I appreciate everybody that's been enjoying the 24-hour videos, man. With that being said, I got a few requests to do a part two of the uh, eating my subscribers' favorite fast food meals, you feel me? People really feeling that, I guess. Uh, I got a few requests on the YouTube live when we go live, and I got a few requests in the DMs on Instagram and all that. So I'm like, you know what? I might as well because at the end of the day, right now, I woke up early and I'm about to go get a haircut. So it's kind of like today's going to be a hectic day because it's raining as well and, you know, the traffic. is. So I'm like, you know what? They asking for it. Let's give it to them. You feel me? The people support Grub Tent. You know, the GTF support Grub Tent. So why not? You feel me? Do a part two. So with that being said, when I saw I woke up this morning, at first I didn't know I was going to do it. Then when I woke up this morning, like around 4 a.m., 4 something, I saw I got another DM saying, yo, can you please do a part two? So I'm like, you know what? We're going to just go ahead on this rock with it. So... I put a post on them. Um, I put a post on YouTube community, on the YouTube community page, and I said, "What is your favorite breakfast meal at a fast food at a fast food place?" Uh, we got a few comments. We didn't get that much, that many. We post. I posted it at 4 a.m. So didn't get a whole lot of comments, but got a few. Uh, I'm pretty sure a lot of people still sleep. You know, people probably waking up. Got to get ready for work. So I understand that. You know, we all got responsibilities or whatever. But we did get a few comments, and we're gonna go through them right quick. You feel me? Uh, Woo's, Woo's Ron said Jack in the Box Ultimate Breakfast Sandwich. Unfortunately, we don't have a Jack in the Box down here in Miami, Florida. You feel me? Uh, but I ain't gonna lie, that does sound good though. I can't wait till I get to a place that has a Jack in the Box. We're gonna just go through a few of these comments because I'm driving as well. So, you feel me? We're gonna just go through a few of them. Sierra Leone, she said spicy chicken with egg and cheese from Chick fil A. Mix the jelly and the ketchup to dip the hash brown. And I'm like, mix the ketchup and the jelly to dip the hash brown? <laughs> you feel me? I'm not judging her or nothing like that. Salute to her if it tastes good. You understand? I'm just saying it's kind of like, you know, it's, it's, it's something that's out of the norm for me. I've never done that before. So it's kind of interesting to see people's favorite go-to meals or whatever because you'll see stuff that you never thought about doing before. Mix the ketchup and the jelly. So I'm like, you know what? One day I got to try that. I don't know when, but one of these days I got to try that. BR Vooley, he said Chick fil A spicy chicken burrito with a large hash brown. That sounds fat. Uh, Gotta grind to shine, said ham and cheese omelet with double hash browns from Waffle House. You feel me? Lita, Lita, I ain't gonna lie, you, you disqualified, fam. You disqualified. He said cheesy eggs and toast. I don't know what that has to do with a favorite fast food meal. You know what I mean? I don't really know because he said cheesy. I mean, at least if you're going to let me know cheesy eggs and toast, is that from a fast food restaurant, fam? You feel me? What restaurant is that from, fam? You understand what I'm saying? I don't know where that's from. So, fam, I ain't going to lie. You get to disqualify. Like I said, you feel me? Ain't no hard feelings. You know what I mean? It's all love. But you feel me? You disqualify, fam. I ain't going to cap with you. Um, Big T Shot. Big T Shot said Wendy's Maple Chicken Bacon. That sounds fire too, you feel me? So that's just the name of a few, man. I ain't gonna say which one we going to yet, because when y'all see what we put up, it's basically a surprise. You understand what I'm saying? But that's what we doing today, man. Let go! All right, fam. We pulling up right now. All right, fam, we in here, you heard? Pulled up the Wendy's with it, man. We about to see. We about to see uh, if Big T Shot Music know what he talking about when it comes to that breakfast. Like, we about to review his favorite fast food. Breakfast item, yeah. Fan drive through nice and empty, just the way I like it, you Just the way I like it. Y'all already know, man. We in Florida, man. We don't drop the window, man. We open up the doors on the earth. Hello. Yes, how you doing? Good. 
I'm doing good. You? I'm all right. I want to order the uh, Wendy's maple chicken bacon croissant. The number one? Is it the number one? The number one, the number one, the number one. Yeah, maple bacon. Yeah, that's it. And what's your drink? Uh, let me get an orange juice. So number one with an orange juice, that's it? You ever had the number one before? Uh, yeah. Is it on? Is it on? Please? I'm saying, I'm saying, be honest, it's the number four better than the number one, but they the same thing. Just one of them got bacon and one come on a biscuit. All right, I'm gonna stick with the number one. Appreciate it, dog. No problem. So, number one with orange juice. Yeah. You come around. All right. Fam, I ain't gonna lie, he told me to go with the number four, but you feel me? We gotta stick to the script. We gotta review. Um. Big T shop music food, you feel me? My money out. What's going on? Oh, man, I do a YouTube in the Bible. Yeah, man, I'm doing I'm shooting a little video right quick, man. My, my, uh, one of my one of my one of my uh subscribers, one of my family on the channel, they wanted me to review the number the, the number one. Okay. How many subscribers that for? Once you, once you hit a hundred thousand, you get that plaque. Okay. Yeah. I mean, you got to do a little bass with you, know? Little what? I mean, you got to do a little fan base with you. Yeah, a little something. You feel me? I call I call them the GTF. You feel me? The Grub Tent family. What's the channel name? Grub Tent. G R U B T E N T. Grub Tent. Yes, sir. All right, all right I'm gonna check that out. All right, bro. Appreciate you, dog. No yes, sir. We don't pay for the order. See, I ain't gonna lie, my tents kind of light in the back. I ain't gonna lie, like after I done bought the car, like the tents got lighter, bro. Like my tents ain't used to be that light. So he see the plaque. He see GTF for the plaque in the back. I ain't gonna lie, GTF plaque, boy. They see you out here, y'all. They see you out here, GTF plaque. I'm gonna order real quick. Hello. Can um can I also have a cup of ice, please? Need that cup of ice, girl. I need my thing ice cold. Look, can you back up behind this yellow bowl? Okay. Back up behind the yellow pole. I guess they little meter thing. They got the little meter thing. They got to get the little meter thing correctly so they can register the cars or whatever. She told me to back up. Do you want me to come out of there? Okay, come back up. She told me to come back up. Thank you. I got a question for you. What's the uh what's the reason that for, is there a special reason behind the color blue or no? There's no special reason? Is this a promotion? Okay, thank you. Maybe she doesn't know, but she said there's no reason. It's just promotion. Oh, but then again on the bag. But then again on the bag it says Wendy's is open till midnight or later. I ain't gonna lie. I'm feeling like blue means. I feel like blue means, you know, the time, like, you know, being open till later. I could be wrong, you feel me? Cause they got like little stars on the bag too. So that must be, yeah, it must be me, me nighttime. You feel me? The blue is kind of like symbolizing being open late. I could be wrong, you feel me? I don't know. If you, if y'all know, enlighten me, let me know in the comment. But they got stars on the bag, you feel me? So, and it's blue, blue logo. I could be right too, you feel me? But yo, fam, we about to review Big T Shop Music, uh, favorite fast food meal for breakfast. Gotta find some place to park right quick. All right, fam. Just got a text. I won't be there until 9.45. Man, people be blowing my vibe, bro. Like, you make an appointment. I'm supposed to go get a haircut. I made an appointment for 9 o'clock. I leave the house early. I'm like down the street from the barbershop too. And homie telling me that he ain't gonna beat us enough. So what's the sense of making me, me making me make an appointment? That shit just blew my vibe, bro. It's just like, you know, me, I'm the type of person, once I schedule something, I got my heart set on doing that, bro. Like, Now you tell me you gonna be there till 940. I done left the house early. I'm down the street. It's 830 right now. You feel me? I'm super early. Now you tell me you gonna be there till 945, bro. And me, I'm the type of person too, like I'm loyal. So it's like once I start going to somebody and I like their service, I just keep going and keep going and keep going. So I don't have a backup person, bro. Like, and I think that's what I'm gonna have to do, bro, because like we're dealing with not just that person, but with anything. Like, I just need some backups because, like, that whole being loyal stuff, man, sometimes that, it doesn't work out in your favor, bro. Like, yo, like, you feel me? Like, it just blew my vibe, bro. 
Now I got to sit and wait till 9.45. So whatever I had to do after I got a cut, I got to post postpone it. Man, crazy, man. Time to set up Grub Tent Mobile Studios. Man, if anybody out there in the Miami area know any other good barbers, bro, let me know, man, because I need to keep some barbers on reserve, bro. I need, I need to keep more than one, bro. Like, just having just one barber stuff, man, I ain't, I ain't gonna cap with y'all, bro. Like, you feel me? But yeah, man, we reviewing um, I just blew my, just blew my vibe, bro. We reviewing um, hold on. See, I'm just, I could just edit this out or whatever, like you feel me. But I'm just being real with y'all, bro. Like I'm, I'm blowed right now, bro. Just blew my vibe, bro. You feel me? Bro, just blew my vibe. I could just literally just turn off the camera and not put this part in a video. But you know, this is real life. You know, when when I'm vlogging, this is real life. Like, bro, just blew my vibe, bro. Like. Damn, dog. So yeah, so we reviewing um big, big T shop music. Um, order. Wendy's maple chicken bacon croissant. I got the meal. Let's pop this thing open. Let's see, they gave me the napkin. One thing about fast food restaurants, right? They always be tripping with the napkin. They gave me, I mean, I got me the meal, so I got the, the potato wedges and the sandwich, and they gave me some napkins, right? We gonna see. We got one, two. Two pieces of napkin, bro, really. like. That's another thing with fast food restaurants. Like, why they always being stingy with the napkin, bro, really? like? The employees, like, anybody out there work at Wendy's, you feel me? Like, why y'all be stingy? Any fast food restaurant. Like, why y'all be, like, do y'all get to take the napkins to the crib? Let me know, man. Do the employees get to take the napkins to the crib, bro? Because, like, why y'all be stingy with the napkin, bro? I gave me two. She gave me two napkins, bro. Two. It's crazy, bro. Hey, anyway, we got the wedges right here. The wedges looking right. And they smell every right. We got the wedges on deck. I got my wedge on deck. And we got the sandwich right here. We got some wedges at the bottom of the bag. Mm. Mm. Ain't gonna lie. Them wedges fly. Voila. All right, fan, that close-up action. Y'all see them potato wedges. You see the seasoning on them things? With the sandwich. Drop them comments, man. Let me know what y'all think about this sandwich if you had it before, man. This big t shop music order. We reviewing it right now. I ain't gonna lie. It's smelling sweet right now, you heard? Bread nicely toasted. I mean, croissant. So y'all got the bacon on there. You got the chicken patty down there. Oh, yes, sir. It's about to go down. All right, fam. We're getting ready to get started. Shake up the OJ. A cup of ice. I need my OJ ice cold. Right. I'm going to turn the water a little bit. I pour this water out. That's all Burger King had to do that day. Just give me a cup of ice. Stingy lady told me, oh, we ain't got any cups. Stingy lady. Do she get to take the cups home? That's what I be thinking. Like Some of these employees be acting like they, they get to take this stuff home. If they, what they don't give out, they get to take it to the crib, I guess. Pour that bit. Pour one for the GTF. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We're going to go ahead and start with these wedges, man. Potato wedge. 
Hit DB. I'm way. Mm. Mm hmm. What's up? Y'all see them wedges? GTA Plaque, you want his on these wedges? GTA Plaque say he good, man. He got eight already. See that? Nice and seasoned. You were just fine. Hmm. Whatever that recipe is. Oh, my. Got a nice crisp on the outside. Fluffy on the inside. Hot, warm, fresh. Wedges fire. Wash it down. Mm. Big T saw music. Well, you know some. Mm. On a skeleton. I'm gonna get these wedges. This thing is fine. I'm gonna get these wedges a nine. These wedges five. Wendy's most definitely know something when it comes to them wedges. I ain't gonna catch y'all. Mmm. There's some sweet sauce on here. On the sandwich. What's the sandwich right here? I ain't gonna lie, this Wendy's, I will probably tell you some establishments, some franchises, they just don't care. Like that last Wendy's I went to a couple days ago, like their croissant didn't look nothing like this. Like this croissant look way better, bro. Like the presentation is way better over here, bro. Like the other one I went to the other day, they just didn't care. That sandwich just look, I don't know, fam. That sandwich look miserable. I ain't gonna cap with y'all. But y'all see what's going on, fam. Maple chicken bacon croissant. Hit there, baby. Baby? Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Wash it down. I'm gonna sandwich. This sandwich fire. This sandwich fire. Hit DB again. B? Mm. Big top. Big T-shirt music. I'm glad I want your order, boy. This thing fire, boy. See that bacon crispy. New piece of that bacon. Bacon is a little crispy. But it's not bad though. It's not bad though. I mess with this. Oh yes, sir. Hey, they be again. The bacon is a little crispy. The chicken is tender. Flavorful. The sandwich together is savory and sweet. So it's swavery? Because whatever sauce they put on there, that ain't right. This thing ain't right. I ain't gonna cap with y'all.
Thing went off now. Did they give me a receipt? For the damage report? Man, they didn't give me no receipt. Oh, wrong with these That's another thing, too. They give you two napkins. They hold your receipt hostage. Like, I just don't really get it with these restaurants. Like, you're going to the restaurant these days and you'll spend your money. Then they ask you, oh, do you want a receipt? Mofo, did I just spend my money? Of course I want a receipt. So you want me to spend my money, but y'all want to save on printing receipts. Give me my receipt. I shouldn't have to ask. You shouldn't have to ask me. Just give me my receipt. Bro. They even give me, did they even give me... Did they give me my card back? I think bro did give me my card back. Where I put my card at? Oh boy. I could have swept bro. Okay, here you go. My bad, my bad fam. I apologize. I apologize. I apologize. I apologize. You feel me? I do make mistakes. But he did give me a receipt. They did give me a receipt. I apologize, man. My bad. I misplaced it. I'm not perfect. I make mistakes too. I apologize, man. Damn. I'm tripping. I'm tripping, dog. I ain't gonna lie. That's just the you feel me. That's just the trauma of like you feel me, like of going to places and they not giving you receipts. You feel me? That's why I, I automatically thought they didn't give me one. It's not their fault. My bad, fam. Um. But yeah, this is good. So on scale of 10, I gave these fries a nine, these potato wedges. The sandwich, a nine as well. You heard? It's a five bricks now. All right, fam. Getting to the damage report, y'all. So the combo was six fifty nine. Maple bacon, chicken croissant, medium seasoned. So they just automatically just charge you extra. For the potatoes, because I got a combo. I didn't ask them for no. I mean, of course, I wanted the potato wedges or whatever. And of course, I wanted them seasoned, but it says medium seasoned potato wedges, 30 cents. So they just automatically charge you like 30 cents. And the orange juice was an upcharge for 70 cents. Total was 7.59. Tax was 7. Total was 7.59. Tax was 35 cents. Grand total, Sam 90. Oh, you heard? 794 was the total. Um, but yeah, fam. Um, right now we just chilling, bro. I guess I'm playing the waiting game now, just to go get a haircut, bro. Cause he said he'd be there at 945. It's currently 845 right now, so we just waiting, man. So that was the um, eating the subscribers' favorite fast food meals breakfast, you heard? So stay tuned for lunch. <laughs> All right, GTF, we back, y'all. We back, man. Your boy fresh up out the barbershop. You feel me? When it got right. You understand me? Y'all already know, man. Y'all already know. But yeah, man, we back, man. Y'all already know the video today, man. Eating my subscribers' favorite fast food meals for 24 hours. We already got breakfast up out the way. Now it's lunchtime, y'all. So now with this lunchtime, the other day I put a post on the community page. And the post says... What is your go-to lunch meal from a fast food place? Go-to, favorite, same thing, you feel me? And uh, a couple people comment. We got a few comments. We're going to read a couple of them, you feel me? Um, uh, some of these names be hard to pronounce, you feel me? I ain't going to cap with you. Uh, Daw, Doggy Blocks. Doggy Blocks, YT. I don't know. I'm going to just say Doggy Blocks. He said, garlic double steak burger combo from Steak and Shake. Uh, Fernando Garcia says, pizza is always a go-to for me, but I also have to 
go with breaded chicken, preferably from Raisin Cane's or Chicken Oil Express. Fossa says a Balti curry from the local Indian takeaway. Well, Fossa lives in the UK. I think it's the UK, if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Dre said go to lunch meal is Arby's Wagyu burger with crinkle fries, Dr. Pepper. Okay. Uh, Jada. Jada Clowers says Chick-fil-A market salad with a spicy grilled filet and extra blue cheese crumbles. Zesty apple cider vinaigrette. Okay, cool, okay, cool, cool, cool. Scrolling, scrolling. Ray George, we got a disqualification. Ray George says Jamaican oxtail. Like, you feel me? Like, I don't understand. What's your go-to meal from a fast food place? You put Jamaican oxtail. Disqualified, fam. No hard feelings, fam. Disqualified, you heard? Who else? Who else? What we got here? We got here. <laughs> what else we got here? Somebody said, Latasha said, Burger King, Whopper Jr. Onion rings. Okay. Ryan says, two double cheeseburgers, medium fries. I'm assuming McDonald's, but he ain't put no name, so disqualified, you feel me? Um, who else? Somebody said, it's always been Wendy's, but you ain't put no what meal from Wendy's, fam. That's um big DCW, disqualified, fam, disqualified. No hard feelings, don't take this a hard way, a couple of y'all got disqualified. Damn, my girl, GTF Patrice, GTF Patrice, she type a whole essay on here, you feel me? She got like 15, 20 spots. I'm exaggerating, I mean, but I ain't gonna lie. She did type quite a few spots. We gonna read a few of them. She said Chick-fil-A spicy chicken sandwich, medium mac and cheese to replace those mediocre waffle fries and a lemonade. Why she called them uh, waffle fries mediocre? I have no idea, y'all heard? And she got KFC, a pot pie meal with a Mountain Dew. McDonald's Big Mac meal with orange Fanta. I ain't gonna lie, that sounds good. Burger King $5 duo with a side of value fries with a cup of water. A cup of water trees? <laughs> Hell no. She said Taco Bell, three country taco regular with extra beef and a Baja Blast. Captain Fish and Chicken, four piece wings with fries, lemon pepper, and whatever drink they have. And then she also got a couple Snappers, Wendy's, a whole bunch, but we ain't about to read all that because we got to get into this video. You feel? But yeah, that's what we're doing. We're about to do the lunch portion of eating my subscribers' favorite slash go to meals. You understand me? For 24 hours, man. Let go! All right, fam, we pulling up right now. The lights is out over here, dog. You gotta be, you gotta be very cool. You see how that car just flew and the light is out? That's why I'm telling you, boy, you gotta be careful, boy. These people out here drive right. That, that van just flew by here, literally, and the lights are out. A car could have been right, coming and, turn left. And, and, you, and got smacked, you feel me? But thank God we here, man. You gotta stay prayed up out here, man. We here, we done made it safely, bro. So it was a surprise. So we're going to There's the spot right here, fan. Captain Fish and Chicken. Captain Fish and Chicken. This is one of the uh, places that Trees recommended. I never been to the spot before. You feel me? I always wanted to try it out, so this is the perfect opportunity. Yeah. Your destination is on the right. All right, fam, we here, man. Captain Fish and Chicken, man. This is what Patrice, GTF Patrice suggested, man. I ain't never been here before. I always wanted to try it out. So we here, man. And we in here, man. Y'all see what's going on. They got them lunch specials and all. Y'all heard? Y'all see what's going on in here, man. All right, fam. We got the grub. We about to see if Patrice know what she talking about, Jerry. We about to see what this shit hitting for. All right, fam. We in the whip yard, and we got the grub yard. Y'all see what's going on, man. We got the grub. We about to review Patrice's go-to order at Captain, what the name of the place is? Captain Fish and Chicken. We about to see if this order hitting for anything, you Time to set up Grubton Mobile Studios. Okay, we got that out of the way. 
locked my doors. Gotta stay safe out here, y'all. Right? Keep them doors locked. All right, so I got the meal. Well, that was, I mean, I got the wings, four wings and a fries. And I also got a drink, a flop. We about to see if this is a real deal flop. Let's pop this thing open. This must be hot sauce or something. I don't know, I ain't really into hot sauce like that. No way, there. Give me a couple little packets of ketchup. I don't see the ketchup on deck. I don't really be using the ketchup these days that more. I don't really be using ketchup like that these days, to be honest with you. I like ketchup, but I'm not crazy about it. Why lie? All right, fam, that close-up action, man. Four-piece chicken wing and fries. Lemon pepper, yard. Y'all see that white powder substance on there? That's that substance that make you addicted, yard. All on the fries with it, yard. Y'all see what's going on. Fam, drop them comments, man. Let me know how this plate looking, man. I ain't gonna lie, Patrice a light eater as you can see, man. Four wings, you feel me, and some fries. I thought the uh I thought the minimum the minimum was probably six wings, but Patrice go with the four wings. Alright fam. We about to get ready to get started, Jerk. Y'all see the vibes, you heard? I ain't gonna lie, this thing smelling right. You feel me? We're gonna go with the fries first. Look at this fry. Fry looking good. Lightly fried, you feel me? Like it's light golden. That light gold on there, you understand me? Got that uh lemon pepper seasoning on there. It's fresh and hot. Fries, hit that baby. I'm away. Mm. That lemon pepper on there. Mm. Did you see a plaque you want is on these fries? Bro, you good? Bro, you ain't been eating lately, bro. GTL Plaque say mm, he good, bro. I don't know what's up with GTL Plaque, but GTL Plaque ain't been eating, eating the last couple of days. You feel me? I don't know what's up with bro. Bro, you good? Bro, tripping. I ain't gonna cap with y'all. But you feel me? I'm enjoy it for us both then. Fries. Hit me, baby. I'm away. Mm. That seasoning that they put on the fries? That's some good seasoning, no. See what that inside looking like? Nice and fluffy. Mm. Try this flop. It's supposed to be a fruit punch and lemonade mix. I ain't gonna. I think they went a little too light on the fruit punch. This really, this is like pink lemonade. They should put more fruit punch in here. The flop not bad. It's not the best flop I ever had. But I done, I done had some flops that's out of this world, you heard? But it's cool. It'll do. It'll most definitely do. I think this is hot sauce. But we're about to find out though. I'm not really into hot sauce. I'm not into spicy foods. We're about to find out. Man, this thing about to spill. Ooh, I can smell it. It's hot sauce. Not just a little crack of it and I smelled it. Ooh. I ain't gonna lie, we gonna try it though. We gonna test it. I'm not really into spicy food, but I hope it ain't like super crazy. <clears throat> it's not bad. I don't know if this hot sauce, this is more like a buffalo sauce vibe. Really, <clears throat> really tangy. It's like a buffalo sauce vibe, but it's real liquidy, though. Super liquidy. It's not bad. I mess with it. It's a bit tangy. Mm. <clears throat> <clears throat> I 
it got a light kick to it. Nothing that's unbearable. And it's tangy. Hit DB. Hit DB. You fry it good. Wash it down. Let's try these wings. I'll see what the wing looking like. That drum first. Hit DB. B? That's a good wing now. Wings is nicely fried. Got a nice crisp on the outside. Juicy and tender on the inside. With that lemon pepper seasoning. Thanks. Flavorful. Savory? <sighs> that thing's savorful, you I ain't gonna cap with y'all. I'm gonna dip it in this, um, I'm gonna dip it in this buffalo, buffalo type sauce, whatever they got going on here. Dip that beer. Hit that beer. This tangy buffalo sauce ain't no pump. You gotta, you gotta tread lightly with this boy. You try to consume too much at <laughs> at once. Ain't gonna have coughing. I ain't gonna lie, trees, you know something. This is pretty good. Lemon, that lemon pepper seasoning, I'm about to lick my fingers off, you heard? Wash it down. one of these wings. We're gonna eat the flat first this time. Dip it in that buffalo sauce.
gonna take that drum, dip it in that buffalo sauce, hit that beer. Hit that beer. On a scale of 10, these fries, these fries get an 8.3. I like them, I definitely get them again. Little meal right here hitting. On the scale of 10, the wings. I give them an 8.5. Wings 8.5. Fries 8.3. I ain't gonna lie, Trish, you know something. Oh, on the skeleton, the flop. Like I said, it's drinkable if you got this meal, but this is not the best flop I ever had. Nor is it near the best flop I ever had. So I would have to say, this flop, I give it a six. Six. Just a six for me. Y'all ready for the damage report? All right, so, uh, Oh, this one type of place is like I got the bootleg receipts. It's like a bootleg receipt. They don't give you a separation of the breakdown of the food. It just give you one total price. That bootleg receipt, you heard? Anyway, they didn't give me a breakdown of what the drink costs and what the meal costs. But the total for everything here is ten for the sale. You heard? Ten for the sale.